Hi everyone, and welcome to episode 5 of the Saloon Build. So in this episode, we're going to get some of that siding off. Well, all of it off, I guess. I don't know why I say some. And just generally get things kind of cleaned up here. I'm just kind of starting to cut up some wood. I'll take a load back with me today. And then, yeah, hopefully get this stuff up to the lake and start working up there. So let's get going on cutting up this firewood. So basically I'm just, I've just got my skill saw here hooked up to my portable generator and I'll either just cut enough until my truck box is kind of full or until that generator dies. Well, I better make sure I actually have room in my firewood bin for all this, so I'll uh, go ahead and load up what I've got here. All right, well, I pretty well got a full box here, so let's hope it all fits in the bin. Well, I'm back out at the farm here today. Uh, I managed to get quite a bit of this cleaned up actually, but my wood box filled up. So I'm uh, gonna have to have a few fires before I'm able to clean the rest of that up. But we won't worry about that right now. Um, what we really need to be doing is getting the siding off of here because May long weekend is coming up and that's when I wanna start framing. So, uh, trailer's got all the framing lumber in it, but I want to get the siding in it too because I don't want to have to haul this up in my truck and it's a lot of work to drag that trailer all the way back here. So, I will get started on this. So, basically how this is going to go, it's going to be just like the sheathing, but I have to be more uh, careful with it. So I'm going to be using this nail puller. I just did a few test ones here. And if I'm pretty gentle, uh, it won't do too much damage to the siding. No, that one was loose already. But I can't really damage this stuff too much because this is just going to be the finished face of the building. So. I can get that in there around that. This one might be a little worse. It's gonna be a lot of work to get this off actually. And then you get these ones with two nails right beside each other because they missed the stud or whatever. That's kind of an ugly one, but I can fill those or whatever. I haven't decided. I'll see um, what pressure washing this does. If it takes like all the paint off, or most of it at least, I might just leave it unfinished. I don't know, we'll see. We'll. Uh, figure that out when we get there. I haven't really worked out all the details just yet. Um, just because I'm not sure, you know, how the supply chains are gonna be 
interrupted throughout this, so I don't really know what kinds of materials I'll be able to get a hold of. Like, I'm thinking all the specialty stores in Saskatoon are probably closed right now. I haven't really checked because I just, everything else is closed. But. So yeah, this uh, coronavirus kind of really, you know, it was a good, good idea I had to use all recycled material because I wouldn't be able to get wooden siding like this right now anyways. So, all right, you've probably seen enough of that, so I'll uh, do a time lapse. Okay, well my nail puller is starting to get a little bit squished there, so it's doing a little more damage to the siding than I'd like it to. So I'm gonna go file that down, make it sharper, and then come back and do the rest of this some other time. Well, I got this all sharpened. I did a few test pulls with it, and it works a lot better now, so I'll uh, go ahead and remove the rest of this. Well, I'm back here at the farm today, and um, I have about three hours to get the rest of this siding off, um, these other three sides here, before my dad comes to pick up the trailer. So we got these three sides, front, back, and this side. So the back side's a little bit rotten. I might not get a whole bunch off there, but this side looks all right. Um, I'm definitely not going to have enough siding for the whole building, but um, I'll just take it all off, I guess, and pick out the best pieces and then figure something else out. Maybe I'll just do wood siding on the front, I don't really know. But anyways, um, I'm going to pop the corners off and all the trim and then just get going. Hopefully I can do it under an hour per side. So these corners... I'm not really concerned about wrecking them because it looks like the people who tried to move this already did. So I'll just kind of focus on getting them off. They are really on there. When you have to use a Burke bar to take corner trim, that's pretty, pretty intense. Yeah, a lot of this isn't really in the greatest shape, but 
kind of going for that rustic look, so I don't know, it might work out okay. Front stuff is in all right shape. Really just fed the nails into here. As you can probably tell by now, I'm not a fan of over nailing. what this is. Oh, just a cover. I'll bring the ladder to get the rest of that. I guess it's right here. I could do that right now. Wobbly ground. Okay, I think we'll start on the back side. So I decided just to leave the siding on the front. I'm not sure if I'm going to need it or not. And it's all just kind of small cut up chunks anyways. So it might not be all that useful. But I got all this stuff off. There's poly under there for some reason. But I'll uh, go ahead and load this stuff in the trailer. And then that'll be ready to go. All right, so I just got finished loading everything that I think I'll need in the trailer here. So now it'll be going up to the lake. So I guess this is the end of episode five. Um, please join me again in episode six where we'll be at the lake, um, probably uh, cutting the tree down and getting the ice shack and just getting everything all moved and ready to start building. So thank you for watching and stay healthy everyone. And I'll just pull hard on it and make sure it falls this way. Alright. <laughs> Keep going.